So as we start Biochem 2, there's a few things from Biochem 1 that we're going to need to make sure that we remember because we're going to see them come up again as we move through some topics in Biochem 2. So we need to be able to think about physiological conditions like pH and temperature. We want to be able to think about intermolecular forces. We want to be able to think about um, phosphorylation states, so kinases and phosphatases that add or remove phosphates from serine, threonine, and tyrosine residues that are going to be important for modulating and regulating enzyme activity. Thermodynamics, so thinking about entropy, enthalpy, and free energy are going to allow us to explain a lot of biochemical processes. We need to be able to think about our three main fuels that we have in our body, carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids. So not only what they're worth, what their um, elemental composition is, uh, what the linkage is between different monomers. Um, moving on to then think about the structures of some of our main biological molecules. So four main biological molecules that we studied their structures of in Biochem 1. We're now going to think about both the catabolic and anabolic processes for these. So we're going to think about peptides. And so being able to draw a small peptide and think about a peptide bond. Uh, lipids, specifically with triglycerides. So being able to think about triglycerides and the fatty acids that are um, composed, uh, uh, that they're made up of. Thinking about carbohydrates, specifically if we remember how to draw glucose, we should be able to think about uh, mannose, galactose, and then also fructose. And lastly, being able to think about a nucleic acid. So we're not going to spend a lot of time thinking about nucleic acids because it's not largely a fuel molecule that we think about, but we will think about um, uh, how we need to think about metabolizing uh, nucleic acids. And then uh, some other concepts that are going to be important as we review uh, material from Biochem 1 are thinking about reaction mechanisms. So reaction mechanisms will find a home in biochemical um, metabolic pathways, so we'll see that throughout the entirety of this course. Thinking about reaction coordinates and how we can think about enzymatic catalysis facilitating chemistry. We still are going to think about hemoglobin as the delivery system for oxygen for our main fuel equation. So being able to think about that expanded fuel equation, how we take the entirety of um, metabolic processes to explain how fuel combines with oxygen to make carbon dioxide, water, and energy. And lastly, we won't do a lot with uh, kinetics, but thinking about the rates of reactions and how Km and Vmax are important kinetic parameters. So that in a nutshell represents kind of the important components from uh, Biochem 1 that we need to bring through and forward into Biochem 2. Fundamentals concepts which were important in Biochem 1, we are still going to think about. So functional groups and their relevant pKa's are important. Amino acids, and again, just like when we got through the end of Biochem 1, it's less important that you could draw any given amino acid from scratch, but that you'd be able to not only think about the functional group that's present, or given a list of all the amino acid structures, be able to know which one is which. Uh, B vitamins. B vitamins, again, are important. Um, some of the other vitamins we'll see come into play, but specifically B vitamins are important in metabolism. And then hormones and um, uh, kind of uh, endocrine function and glands. So we'll be thinking about those much more towards the end of the course, but we will have uh, some things that we think about in that regard.